So in the training, we cover what took place throughout Lanai's history with um, land tenure, uh, different business ventures that was tried on the island, um, as well as traditional practices. The goal of the training is to promote stewardship um, and aloha aina for all of the people who live on Lanai. I'd like the trainees to leave the center after a training session with um, knowledge of place and a sense of place and also a sense of responsibility um, to want to come up to the center and um, get involved um, and share with the children because that's where all of this begins. I try to live aloha aina every day um, by sharing everything that I know, being open to the new people that come to Lanai, um, as well as the old ones, um, and just share the history. We talk about the place names, we use proper place names. If we don't, they'll be lost. Um, and just try to promote stewardship. And I volunteer as well with any projects that come up. We'll take groups of children out, mostly nieces and nephews, relative kind, um, maybe five or six of them at a time, and just introduce some of Lanai stories and let them get to know a little bit of Lanai as well. Maybe go gather pa'akai or go pick up a little bit opala, just talk story and you know connect with Lanai. It's important for me to practice aloha aina so that our future generation can take over the work. Um, our resources are very limited, especially on Lanai, um, because a lot of responsibility has been lost. And we'd like to instill this in our children. We want them to learn responsibility. We want them to be able to sustain themselves, have enough fish, have enough water, uh, to sustain even their children and grandchildren.